Here we go. Hit the water together. 100 meter freestyle for men. A little hard to tell who's ahead there. Lane number one, it might be Robert Pound of Canada who leads. Now they're practically equal, it's going to be extremely close. Very difficult to tell who's ahead. Rudy Adobe, Kevin, and Larson seem to be together. Larson pulled ahead a little bit. But right below us, in lane number six, hits first. Dos Santos, Manuel Dos Santos of Brazil. Larson gets a good turn. Larson is ahead right now. On his right is Bruce Hunter, on his left is Devitt. It's Larson and Devitt matching close. Devitt seems to be pulling ahead a little bit of, of Larson. It looks like Larson and Devitt. Lindbergh doing well in Sweden in lane number seven. Looks like Devitt or Lindbergh is going to be extremely close. Nobody can tell who the winner is. There they go. Who tell me? Devitt and Larson seem to hit. You tell me. Line. That's been the question ever since that race was won. Well, after they look at that, then the officials that decide to look at it will see this pictorial evidence. These are frames actually stopped from a film made from that videotape. Now, you can see the head in the water there. That is John Devitt of Australia. In the next lane down here, you cannot see the head of our man Lance Larson. He said that he was under the water and touched under. You can't see his foot just back here. Do you think he's already touched or not? Do you think this man touched the wall ahead of him? It isn't very clear. It isn't very distinct. But that is the evidence that they will have to go by if they decide to look at these pictures. There you see the hand of John Devon of Australia as we, we move forward another couple of frames. You just saw his hand just now about to touch the, uh, the bulkhead, the wall. And now, there is our boy Larson. Does it look to you, in other words, as if he touched the wall before this chap did, his hand having just touched. You say the hand was underwater is extremely difficult 